GeForce Now to get our limits starting from 2025. Next, GeForce RTX 50 and RTX 60 SKU name spotted in first EEC filing. MSI pushed AMD Ryzen 7 9800X 3D to 7241 MHz. AMD Ryzen 7 9800X 3D is now available, or should I say, not available as scalpers overwhelm the retailers. Alright, so firstly we have NVIDIA is now making an hour limit for the GeForce Now experience. And as you can see, it says the welcome to GeForce Now performance. Priority members get instant upgrade, which is basically if you pay for the pass, of course. And as you can see over here, we have three plans for this particular GeForce Now membership for the first one, which is the free basic rig, which will include ads. But there are some problems, which is longer queue times, or should I say longest queue times, one hour per session, only one hour. So they're basically restricting it to 100 hours, if you do the math, of course. But in other cases, which is the 999 and the 1999 versions, we have the performance and the ultimate mode which in the performance case we are getting short queue times and six hours per session and for the ultimate version we're looking at again shortest queue times and eight hours per session with of course dlss3 nvidia reflex and cloud g-sync's available but in my opinion none of these are worth it because obviously if you're using geforce now I, i'm really questioning why are you even utilizing geforce now because it's really not worth it but then again if you really want to go for geforce force now experience i guess now it's gonna be a bit harder for you as the basic one is limiting you for one hour only so if you want to play games for more than one hours i guess there is only one option which is the performance mode and ultimate i don't see any use of that and next up we have something interesting which also doesn't make sense to me i guess rtx 50 makes sense but rtx 60 doesn't make sense to me at all as you can see haru case 5719 has leaked this information in the eec filing here and as you can see it says rtx 6090 so let's look into the whole image as you can already tell rtx 6090 super 6090 ti 6090 so there are three different models for the 6090 which kind of is crazy because we're not even getting the 5090 yet so yeah that already the naming has been listed but then again let's look into it anyway rtx 6080 super is here 6080 ti and 6080 similarly 6070 super 6070 ti and 6070 we also have the 6060 super 6060 ti and 6060 also 6050 super 6050 ti and 6050 so each and every single model will have super ti and non ti super i guess as for the 5000 series we're looking at similar kind of naming scheme here which is again rtx 1590 super 1590 ti 1590 then again the 5080 super ti and non ti super 5070 super ti non ti super and then again the similar trend so this time around we're looking at 5000 series will have three versions of 1590 which is super ti and non ti super and same goes for all around now obviously we don't know for sure if all these cues will be available or just the placeholder naming my guess would be the placeholder naming because i've never seen 50 50 super or ti or 50 50 because you know we had 30 50 ti and 30 50 only but even for 30 50 we had different kinds of vram right similarly 40 50 40 50 ti something like that so we, but we never saw 40 50 super obviously we, we never saw that so my guess is this is only a placeholder naming but it's kind of crazy that they already named the 6090 which is interesting and next that we have msi gaming is basically marketing this particular story here which is the amd ryzen 7 x 3d that has been launched recently has been tested with meg x 870e godlike motherboard and as you can already tell it it is clocking at 7.241 gigahertz of course heavily overclocked so as you can see in the hw bot forum here we have the score listed here which is the 7241.93 megahertz with ryzen 7 x 3d and this is of course taking the first out of three tested processors so obviously this is the hall of fame or should I, I shouldn't say hall of fame just you know getting the first place for now the second place we're looking at 7005 megahertz and in the third place we're looking at 5936 megahertz obviously those are just not that overclocked but this particular model 
from MSI did overclock a lot using the godlike motherboard. So yeah, they, they got the first place, of course. And in the CPU, -C, we also have the same confirmation. So yeah, this is the world record for the 9800X 3D with the godlike MSI motherboard. And next up, we have the deal, of course, which is the AMD Ryzen 7 9800X 3D that has been launched. But as you can already tell, it is currently unavailable, of course doesn't make sense why because there sh they should be making more processors i'm guessing it just launched so the availability will be an issue here but if you want to get this processor when it gets available of course the link will be in the description so you can check it out anytime you want but that's not the story we want to look at because we have the reason why it is unavailable so according to 3dcenter.org we have the amd ryzen 7 9800x 3d market start will be plus 12 hours of course and already we have some information which is almost all known retailers have run out of stock and in most cases it's no longer possible to pre-order the next shipment is expected to arrive on november 12th for which galaxies will be 529 euros and hardware cam 24 will be 549 euros are still accepting orders so that's the euro pricing of course because we know the pricing is 479 dollars so if you convert it to euro plus tax included it should be 529 euros or around that pricing of course but right now all the other retailers have run out of stock haru case 5719 also confirmed the same in korea there are reviews saying the 9800x 3d orders have been cancelled or shipment day has been delayed which is terrible information coming out because this processor is very good obviously because the reviews are suggesting their this processor is phenomenal in terms of gaming but the stock is terrible another tutor user jack hume has reported that so pumped to see the global excitement for the AMD Ryzen 7 9800X 3D. From packed lines at retailers to fans sharing their anticipation, it's clear the world's best gaming processor is here to take gaming to the next level. And as you can see in these pictures, there are literal lines on Micro Center near the Aorus. I'm guessing this is in Korea or China. I could be wrong. Probably Korea, but I could be wrong. But yeah, as you can see that the global availability is completely out of stock because people are barging in and buying this processor, which is not surprising. And one bad side, though, is that there's probability that these processors are getting scaled as video cards reports here which is the ebay pricing that has been listed as you can already tell 695 we have 697 739 709 which is way above than the general msrp which is a 479 so clearly this processor are, are getting scalped there is no doubt about that so basically the availability is not here because the of course the prop of, of the popularity but also uh probably most of the buyers here are scalping the G cpu so at the end of the day most of the general gamers will not be able to get these processors at msrp unless amd decides to pump more of these cpus